For the last 10 to 15 years, people have been taking LED bulbs and replacing their halogen bulbs on their vehicle to try to see better at nighttime. And a lot of the companies out there are severely lacking in any self-control or light control, that is, until the GTR Lighting Ultra 2 came by. It blew every single LED bulb out of the water. It was the best LED bulb I've ever tested. And I tested hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, don't believe me? I've blown them up, I've dumped them on tables, we've got over 2,000 videos online about covering LED bulb videos. This was literally my life for the last 10 years. And finally, after installing all of these different bulbs, I have found something to replace it. And it is their own child, the GTR Lighting Ultra 3. GTR Lighting said, well, I might as well just keep kicking it up and they severely did because it is even brighter than the king of bulbs, the Ultra 2. Last week I took this GTR Ultra 3 bulb and I compared it to the best and brightest bulbs that you guys say are on the market today. So we took the comments from all of you guys and then just bought them all. Well, we spent about $1,500. We compared them all and found out that the Ultra 3 was still brighter, but it also had better beam control. Watch that video if you really want to see how it stacks up. The real question I want to answer in this video is, what is the major difference between the Ultra 3 and the Ultra 2? I'm going to start with the size. This is what the Ultra 2 looks like, and right away you're going to notice the cord and then this. This is an external driver. The reason it was external was because at the time, that was the best way to keep this bulb efficient. We wanted to keep it cool. If it got too hot, it would then not be as bright, but it would also burn out. Thankfully, they didn't burn out very much. They had a lifetime warranty and rarely ever did I see any issues with the Ultra 2. They lasted for years and years with this external driver. The technology is here now to no longer need an external driver, allowing a bulb to be a lot smaller. That's where the all new Ultra 3 bulb comes in. Look how small this is. There's no external driver here. This is going to allow you to fit this into a lot more vehicles. A lot of the time people would buy a bulb not even knowing if it's going to fit their vehicle and praying to God that they're going to be able to lock it in place properly and then still fit that dust cover back on. Side note, if you don't run with your dust cover, you're going to have issues in the future. It might work for a little bit, but you're going to get dust and debris inside of your headlight housing. So it's really good to have a small bulb. Thankfully, without an external driver now, this will fit in more applications. I'm pretty sure the Fords had a really bad time with getting bulbs to fit in the high beam area. This should do the trick. This is much smaller. This is almost smaller than anything else that we tested in that shootout just recently. I am so thankful that GTR lighting went from this, which was already a pretty compact bulb, to this. Before I dive in any further, I know a lot of you guys in the comments are gonna say, shut up, just get to the light output, so here we go. I did it in both a projector headlight and a reflector headlight. The reason I did it in both is because even back in the day when this was running, other bulbs that were competitive to the Ultra 2, they wouldn't work very well in a projector housing. That's not the case anymore. The Ultra 2 worked pretty good in a projector housing. The Ultra 3 really works good in a projector housing, like this fifth generation 4Runner housing. It also works really good in a reflector housing. Now, a reflector housing, as you know, has all of those different mirrors in it. And we're trying to replicate your original bulb and put that light to emit out and bounce off those mirrors exactly like your original bulb did. Both the GTR Ultra 2 and the Ultra 3 did a very good job of doing that. That then gave you a good beam pattern so it's no longer scattering all of the light. However, the Ultra 3 is just a little bit brighter. As you can see here on the projector headlight, this is what the Ultra 2 looked like. When you install the Ultra 3, it looks like this. Right away, you're not only gonna notice the difference in numbers for brightness, we measured the actual usable brightness at a certain point with that lux meter, but you're gonna notice a little color difference. The color of the Ultra 2 bulb has this 6000K cool white color. It's a very good color if you really want maximum intensity when you're driving down the road. But when you compare that to the Ultra 3, it's 5750K. So that means that it's a little bit warmer light as you can see. This is actually gonna be more comfortable when you're driving long distances. This is going to be easier on the eye, I guess they would say. The Ultra 2 was about 3,350 effective lumens, whereas the Ultra 3 comes in around 4,700 lumens. 
That is cooking in today's standards. It is so, so bright. When you get this installed on your vehicle, you're going to laugh at how terrible your original lights were. Call us nerds of lighting, if you will, but we are passionate about installing bulbs and trying to find the best ones for every vehicle. The Ram with the reflector headlight, the 4Runner, or all the other 60 vehicles that we're gonna make videos for. We don't want you to buy garbage. We don't want you to waste your money on products that aren't any good. And also, this is a safety feature. If you're buying this bulb because you want your daughter to be safer, I think it's a really good idea. This is going to allow you to see much better in the night. If you're driving in Minnesota in the winter time, you're gonna see that deer a lot earlier than if you would have had just your halogen bulbs. This is not only a safety feature though, but it also uh, gives you style points also. If that's really what you're into, you don't want that dingy yellow look. That's why I originally upgraded my headlights is I no longer wanted that orange look. I wanted that bright white color on the face of my vehicle and it achieves just that. Now both of these bulbs are 100% potted and the internals are waterproof for those extreme conditions. Yeah, you could even put this in an ATV if you really wanted to. Both GTR lighting bulbs have a lifetime warranty. They both have a fan that kicks on to make sure that the bulb does not get any hotter than 176 degrees Fahrenheit. It keeps it well below the threshold for danger. There's so many similarities, yet I still think the most important is the light output. They both use LED chips on the bulbs and they both look very similar. And like I said before, they replicate your original wire wound filament on your halogen bulb allowing you to have a really good beam pattern. But they both use different LED chips, so GTR Lighting went a completely different route and got different LED chips to really boost that output. If you're a nerd, the Ultra 2 used NLW7535CV3 LEDs, whereas the new bulb uses the TST7045 LEDs. If you're not a lighting nerd, it's just brighter, it's going to last longer, it's going to be more dependable, it's a little bit more compact, and it's got a lifetime warranty, so it's going to last the life of your vehicle. What I mean by that is if you're the kind of guy that's going to keep their vehicle for 10, 15 years, I can about bet that you're going to still be running the Ultra 3 bulb in your vehicle. Legal disclaimer, I kind of have to say this in a video, but these bulbs are not actually DOT compliant when you install them in your vehicle. They are for off-road use only. You can use them in an ATV, you can use them in your 4Runner if you're going down the road on the dirt, middle of nowhere, but for street use, they're not compliant. No LED bulb is yet. If you want the closest thing to compliance, then maybe the Morimoto two-stroke 4.0 would be your best bet but it's still not in compliance. And I don't know if these will ever be a product that you can install in your vehicle legally. If you really are the type of person that would get pulled over and fear you might get a ticket for, I've never seen this, but you might get a ticket for having too bright of headlights, then I would actually recommend getting a upgraded housing. You can replace this entire headlight housing with say the Morimoto XP headlight housing. They just came out with a new one for the fifth gen 4Runner, <laughs> side note and that is a very good DOT compliant upgrade. If you don't care about that, then sure, the Ultra 3 is the way to go. Is it worth upgrading from the Ultra 2 to the Ultra 3? In my opinion, yes, but is it necessary? Probably not. The Ultra 2 is still competitive out there. It's still one of the brightest LED bulbs on the market today, but the Ultra 3 is just that peak of performance. It is a pinnacle of LED lighting. It is so bright, it's refined. It has a tighter beam pattern. It has a more controlled beam pattern and ultimately it's gonna keep you safer when you're driving down the road. As you can see, I could talk about this all day long. All I'm saying is we're gonna make 25 more videos on the Ultra 3 bulb because we want to show you how much brighter it is compared to stock. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all these videos, all the content of the new bulb that's gonna actually change the world.